Go ahead, put it on real tight. I hope you brought your best tonight. They say they got the fireworks, yeah, they say they got the show. Here around the shoots, you're the best, so let's go. This is Texas Toast. I'm your host, Miss Helen. Kick back and enjoy as we toast the best from Texas. everyone. Welcome to Texas on Tap with Miss Helen along with producer Kyle and I'm in a new location. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You're, you're the traveling one this weekend. I'm, I'm at home for the first time in a long time and you're somewhere new. I'm in Huntsville at my daughter's, my precious daughter's house here with her and Cole and nice. hanging out. We was watching the Astros game, which I know you did too. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, it was awesome. One step closer. Yeah, it's they're looking real good. Astros Cup. Pretty excited about all that. It's I don't know what the deal was this year. For some reason, it took me. I guess just because I've been so busy. But you know, that's not an excuse. I'm a. I like to think I'm a, a real fan. You no, know? you ha- you are, but you have still been super, <laughs> You you have been super busy. That's for sure. Yeah, it still grinds my gears when I see the cheating comments and stuff. So that's that's what makes me think I really care. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> I think that's pretty much in the past. I think that's. Uh, done. I'm still seeing it. Believe me. Okay. But. Well, whatever, people, get over it. <laughs> yeah. There's no way at this point. Yeah, whatever. No reason to get in that rabbit hole. We can talk about that forever. <laughs> right. We got some rabbit hole of music. Oh, my gosh. I am yeah. so excited about the stuff that we have. Yeah, we got some heavy hitters and some deep cuts, and I'm, uh, I'm really excited to talk about these songs. So let's jump into it. Okay. Do you want to go, or you want me to start it off? Uh, I'll go. All right. I'm excited. Go all on. right. So first of all, I am in love. Hayes Carl has a new radio release called Happy Hour. And um, it starts out with the people getting off the J-O-B, mm-hmm. going to the bar. And the whole thing is, who says happy hour can be an, only an hour? But he does, I mean, it's the most fun written song ever. Yeah. Like, it's so much fun. Who says happy, only, you know, only last happy hour lasts for an hour. But, but he's, he goes into this, why don't we ever ask ourselves about this or about that? And it's like, mm-hmm. it makes so much sense. Why didn't we ever ask about that? And then finally, the, the kicker is, why haven't we ever asked what we will he do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but it goes from getting off work to the whole last call. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I just, I love it. You know how I feel about his Carl. I mean, his storytelling, oh, his does. songwriting, yeah. and I love how he'll have his little da, 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 then hits it with this. I mean, crazy different change. I yeah. can't stop. Like I just so quirky like, and that awesome. is, that is Hayes Carl happy hour. I love Hayes Carl. I am a super duper fan. And that's an awesome song. Mm-hmm. And another person I like is Casey Donahue. Oh, yeah. He has a new radio release, and both of these have debuted really good. And Casey's is Starts and Bars, and it's got a great beat. It's got some really fun lyrics, and if you listen to it, it's a little risque, but yep. if you've ever had one of those nights, it's so, so true. Um, I love the line, lipstick on a bottle, but um, just not slowing down. I had a big old Y-E-S, explanation mark, explanation <laughs> mark, but the That's beat fun. has everything, but it's like so many of us in our day had been there oh yeah like both Hayes and Casey's song it's like it's this perfect for Friday perfect for weekend music for y'all going into the weekend so make sure you check those out Mm -hmm. and now we're going to open the tap room door y'all are going to love this one this is Lane Smith and Clear Your Mind Lane Smith, Clear Your Mind. That is a super strong song. And um, I have some notes on him. He actually was a professional bullfighter. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so, you know, I was just talking about that last week when yep. I had my meeting with Skipper Voss. Mm-hmm. And so, but I love some of, there's a little bit of verbiage that he brought out with this song. It says, this one is about being honest, honest with others, but mostly honest with yourself. Easy come, not so easy go. So I think y'all get that after listening to the whole song that we just previewed in the tap room. I think everybody kind of gets that. So, yeah, I, I'm so hung up on that chorus, like lyrically and melodically, everything that's, I, it's just outstanding. Like that's probably the strongest chorus 
that I can think of in any song we've talked about since we started this. And I know that's like a crazy a hot take, <laughs> but yeah, damn, it's like, I look, yeah, it's incredible. So everybody, we got to follow Lane Lane because I think yeah. he's got some great things on the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've already talked about probably three or four of his songs, you know, in the past year or two. And yeah, that's just like a, another step that I didn't even know was possible. <laughs> so mm. Yeah, big stuff. All right, my turn. <clears throat> um, oh, we're going to stay in the tap room because I screwed it up last week. Let's keep it rolling. Tap room door is still open, and our buddy Hayden Baker's got some fire. Woo! Uh, Go Hayden! But, yeah, so Hayden's got a brand new song, and this one's a slow burn, so hang in there. Promise it pays off. We'll get there. Let's open the tap room door for uh, Miss Your Eleven by our buddy Hayden Baker. Mr. Eleven, Hayden Baker. Wow. <laughs> oh my wow, God. Wow. What's he the crazy hell, man? on that? <laughs> yeah. And the whole jam in the beginning yeah. of that song. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's like. So in his own words, bluesy, gritty, and sexy. And that's yes. a new, that's a new chapter for Mr. Baker. And holy shit, dude. That like should got, be a t-shirt. Yeah, it should be, right? That's I can't imagine that's not the direction he's gonna lean into. It's it, like, you know, kind of like I just said with Lane, this is a new chapter for Hayden. And he said it himself and he sent the song over and I listened to it and I, he's like, Hey, got a new song coming out, you know. Um, and I was like, You bet your ass we're gonna put this in the podcast, dude. <laughs> that's right. So, that's yeah. right. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm really excited for that. It's it's like, you know, especially for a guitar player like Hayden, who's a shredder, it takes some some insane talent but also like this this poise to be able to have a song that that's that ballsy and bluesy and not just go full-on rock and roll and there's like eight chances in that song where they could have just I know. opened up and just I know. gone oh my god kyle i was so <laughs> waiting for that like yeah, i was like okay the whole song. When, when's that's it gonna say, happen? it's like a slow burn and the fact is i like it better that they didn't isn't that crazy? I, I know, me they too. Could have and gone, I was like, and it would have been like, all right, cool. That's what I expected. And it's like, they just yes. didn't do it. And oh my God. It's like, it was like just tense, tense, tense. The whole song. I loved it. it it's, yes. Oh, yeah. Hayden Baker's it was, killing it. It was fabuloso. <laughs> yeah, Wait, that's a, that's a cleaner. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it smells real good. Yeah, lavender. There you go. That could be Hayden's new uh, color. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I meant it in uh, another yeah. way. No, I hear you. That's funny, though. Fabuloso. Could, yeah, lavender. It's like a nice little sexy, hey, boozy trust color. Me. Hey, right? trust me. Trust me. I use that a lot at the condos. <laughs> oh, trust yeah. Trust Miss oh, Helen on that. Believe yes. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to keep it going. I've got, uh, let's see here. Another guy that's new to me um i know a lot of people you know I've, I've heard his name a lot so he must have he must be doing some big stuff and clearly he is with these songs but uh mario flores put out a new song it's i'm a week late on it actually i just found it but this song is awesome mario called, is amazing yeah yes. it, it's incredible so his new song is called 1990s drunk it's it's got this cool little like a chorus or flanger hey. or some and that? i was i was those people then yeah, I feel like I'm those people. That's now. a song about me. That's a song about me. I put oh, down, yeah. can we please? Yeah. All right. oh, the memories. <laughs> Could I tell some stories, but I'm not. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, he's got this like, you know, Texas vibe, but he's also got this like 90s, like spot on, you know, like just nailed 90s country sound and i just love it and it's got like i was getting that it's got this cool effect on the lead guitar and he's he's got like a little bit of that like midland swagger thing going on and it's just fantastic so mario's got got all kinds i of cool love it on. love it love it mm -hmm. and then my last one this week is uh mr cameron wrinkle we've talked about him before and he just put out a new song today called i wasn't through loving you yet and uh my kind of the the picture that this tune paints for me is it's like if I'm going to walk into a honky tonk late at night and I know there's music playing, this is exactly what I want to hear. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's, it's the right setting. It's, you know, it's got the right speed. His voice is killer. And it's, it's just like a happy honky tonk song. And to me, that's, that's all you can really ask for. And I, I can't imagine the song won't do really, yeah. really well. On and radio. we, and, and we've talked about Cameron before, of course, yeah. Abilene boy, fifth generation musician, Tracy bird mm -hmm. management discovered him and man, he is this, but that song. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Totally. Well, so jumping into the charts. Yeah. Okay. Texas country music. Wait, so chart. Hold on, hold on. I got to talk about our friends at more than music creation. Oh, oh, <laughs> hold up. Okay. What's yeah. Up? 
<laughs> you no, <guys. laughs> I was being funny. Okay, cool. Hey, it's uh, post. It's post game. Sorry. Oh hell yeah, it is. No, it's yeah. <laughs> and we, after I drove all the way from our... Matagorda to Huntsville. Yeah, to oh up. well, we'll talk about my drive later. But okay, okay. let's yeah, talk yeah. about that amazing jewelry. So charts, yeah, are brought to you by our friends at More Than Music Creations. Um, it's you know it's ho- getting close to holiday season. Time to get in your gifts. I can't imagine that uh, turnaround time will be any faster starting now for these guys because they sell a lot of this stuff. And so uh, go hop over to the website, morethemusiccreations.com. Check it out. You can get some uh, nice little earrings for your spouse or your girlfriend or your Oh my your gosh, and they daughter. have beautiful bracelets. Bracelets, too. necklaces. There's like, oh my gosh, I'm and in love. And they're made using your favorite artist guitar strings that they played. And where there else it is. can you where get Where else? There it is. Nobody yes. does that. And you can do that right now. You can go buy them. I'm just saying, jump on it. Do it now to, so that to, you so you get them in time. Yeah, go to the website. Yeah. Cool. All right, charts. Do it. All right, Texas Country Music Chart at number five this week is John Stork's Blood. Mm. James Lamb, like Conway Twitty, is at number four. Curtis Grimes, Miles Don't Matter, is number three. Randy Rogers Band, they stayed at number two. And Wade Bowen is still at number one with Everything Has Your Memory. Looking at CD Extraction, Texas. I thought it was going to go away. James Lamb, like Conway Twitty. And, you know, we love James and yep. we talked about this song. And when we get to the next chart, you're going to be super duper happy. Cool. He's at uh, number five on CD Extraction, Texas. Sunny Sweeney. Love that Ooh. song. Easy as Hello is at number four. She Damn. jumped from eight. She jumped from eight to number four. That climbs so fast. Yes. Uh, Pat Green, if it don't have a honky tonk is at number three randy rogers band at number two and number one wade bowen everything has your memory now texas regional radio report stuck stuck in the middle all i get of your heart in the middle (laughs) oh my god i i swear between her and Bree, that's all i listen to so uh yes ariel is at number five with stuck i'm so sorry y'all i was singing wade bowen Everything Has Your Memory went from five to four. Nothing But Love Songs, Randy Rogers Band is at number three. Breeze at two. two. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, me and, Bree, me and Bree travel together with music as I drove to Huntsville today. Oh, nice. So Free Man is at number two. Way to go, Bree. And um, James Land, like Conway Twitty, is at number one. So congratulations, James Keep Land. Congrats, James. Yes. Yeah. That's so that's awesome. a look at the charts. So yeah, here I am in Huntsville and uh you're gonna love this because I it hit me once I went through Belleville and I was like wait if I would have left earlier I could have seen the Austin County Fair Parade oh is that today it's Thursday uh, yeah I guess yeah. it was today I don't know the fair's uh, going on and it was idea. it was so cute because you know you and I both have so many memories and of course you have mm-hmm. family home right there by the fairgrounds right. but um I, it was so cute because as I was driving down the highway to head towards Hempstead, it was like, I saw all these, these little kids, like with their parents and they had their little hats on and their mm-hmm. bandana, you know, and it was like, oh, just, <laughs> just makes my heart happy. It yeah. was so cute. Thinking Man, about might... all the times I played on that fairground and then grew up on, you know, it's like, oh, it's just awesome. Yeah, that's, I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that. I haven't had a minute to breathe, but I have this weekend off because we're leaving on Sunday for the Texas Country Music Cruise. And I think I'm going to head out to Conroe tonight and go see, uh, we've got uh, our buddy Trent Cowley. We've got our Wait, buddy. wait, come pick me up. You want to go? No, no, I can't leave. I'll come get you. Let's go. Because I'm like 30 minutes away right I now. I will come get you. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, you haven't even heard it all. All I said was Trent Cowan. Okay. That's worth the reaction. But uh, Trent, John Stork, and Mike Ryan are playing tomorrow. So let's oh, go. tomorrow? No, tonight. Sorry. Oh. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, I got you. Tomorrow for us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hanging and chilling. I don't get to spend a lot of time here. Okay. Family yeah. time. Because we if got you, plenty of stuff coming up. But. If you change your mind, let me know. Because that's probably where I'm going to be. But I hadn't even thought about that. Maybe I'll see what's going on at the fair uh, Saturday night. So be nice yeah. to get out there. Yeah. So what are y'all doing? Just chillaxing all weekend? Yes, I'm here with my daughter and nice. my amazing, awesome daughter and my grandson because my son-in-law has a, 
you know, they, they both teach in, in right. Willis. And so he mm -hmm. had a workshop in Denton. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to come yes. and kind of hang out and get off the coast a little bit and actually gave me a good break. Do you know my worst drive here was from Matagorda to Wharton? Uh, it was like, and then once, I mean, it was like. Because you left pretty early this morning, right? Mm, or you're just saying because you had to be on 11, the highway for more than 11 ish, five minutes. 11 ish, 11 ish. You're just saying because you had to be on the highway for more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so you That's got so me. funny <laughs> you got me on that so me and uh, me and brie i had i had i had brie on and then i had a little randy rogers then i put a little a cordless on maverick i put a little okay. kick on mm. and uh yeah i listened to all my texas music and i was just jamming going down the highway and i was like am i ever gonna get there am i ever gonna get there but yeah so i um am leaving monday for nashville yeah that's gonna mm -hmm. be a lot of fun so i'll be in nashville till thursday mm -hmm. then come back then virgin islands then we got tcmas so while i'm here in huntsville giddy up glamour here i come oh there you <laughs> i'm go. doing some shopping <laughs> and nice. the academy here is the best oh yeah anyway, you said that you can get all yeah. kinds of like that's so i wonder why that is i mean i, I found, talking about I this, found, this I found, last year i found my saltwater <laughs> waiters uh-huh here so the other thing speaking of that um did we talk about my mahi yet i don't think so my mahi fishing trip that yeah was, what was that saturday last week yeah that was last week so went offshore got my mahi and um it was crazy because as much as i fish and as much offshore fishing as i've done i've caught kings and lings and snapper and big shark hammerheads all kind of stuff i actually had never caught a mahi Never. And so oh, we wow. went out. We went I've out. Caught Mahi before. We Dang. went out. We went out sixty miles, and when we got on them, we got on them. Yeah. I only I caught my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Well, that <laughs> no, not, sent me. Not the hilarious. big ones. Not the big ones. Yeah. But um. But so it's anyway, like the boat was full. Y'all were standing on top of a pile of them. Oh, it looked. <laughs> it looked. It literally looked like I literally have clothes that. I can't get the blood out of, oh, especially man. between, I mean, we were just flopping them in and like, you know, the guys are like, Ron's like, don't get hooked. Don't get hooked. I'm all, I'm getting back out there. I'm getting right. back out there. <laughs> so anyway, it was a lot of fun. And that's our sweet friends from North Zulch. Yeah. North Zulch. Oh, Double down that's boat. At. Yeah. That's out there by Normandy. Yeah. I had some roots in Normandy, Texas too. So, um, yeah, that, that reminded me of last week. And I just want to apologize again to everybody for being so late. That was just a mixture of uh, a whole lot of stuff. But um, we're but that's but that's what's so good. <laughs> that's what's so good, Kyle, is that we're so busy and life mm -hmm. is happening, yeah. and so many doors have opened to where it's like, yeah, totally, whatever, whatever. I just feel bad because I know we've got a, quite a few loyal listeners who, are, who get excited. It's like I put myself in their shoes, and I, there's. There's, you know, there's one podcast in particular that I look for every single Monday morning. And whenever it's not there, I'm like, what do I do with my life? <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, you're right. It, it, it is. We're so many things have come out of doing this. Like my my whole entire life revolves around opportunities that have come out of this podcast now. So and I think everybody understands that. And we appreciate you guys. Um, my weekend was pretty crazy. We, we had a lot of really cool shows. I did want to talk about the thing we played on Sunday. Um, I think it was KNBT's. Um, uh, New Braunfels radio station they do a an annual uh, I guess Sunday songwriter show and it was it was just stacked like we had I mean Bree played um Jimmy Lynn Wilson uh Mike from Mike and the Moon Pies William no. Beckman I was like I was like melting no. into the floor watching Beckman play it's just like I've never seen anybody like I I, I have never seen George Strait live and I can um I can't imagine that there's anybody else on this planet that's as good as him. It was just, it was like breathtaking. And then followed by, uh, who else played after, after Beckman? Or I guess maybe it was him and then it was Caitlin Butts, who I'm obsessed with. Like I'm, I don't fangirl over anybody, but I kind of fangirl over Caitlin Butts. And she brought Cleto out. So basically we got to see Flatland play. Um, they just put out a new song actually. And then we got to see, Cleto and Caitlin play it together and that oh, was just, wow it was awesome so really cool show and then the next day we played at a uh it was kind of a private event it was a fundraiser for Sims Foundation out of Austin and they they um it's a it's a nonprofit that helps musicians with like mental health access and things like that mm -hmm. uh, or resources 
and uh, we, we played a show with Paul Wall, which was like the most nostalgic thing that I've ever experienced because growing up in Houston, you like could not avoid the whole Houston hip hop thing, which was never my vibe, but I know every song because I grew up in Houston, you know, during that time. And yeah, it was, it was wild. It was a whole wow Kyle. A whole blast. <laughs> yeah it was pretty yeah crazy. well all i did was went and got dirty squid and mahi and and a shitload of stinky dinner. blood i was yeah. all stinky dirty grimy but man <laughs> oh, I, can't, I, I was too I can't don't wait. get me wrong i was real I gross by the time i got home on tuesday morning or whenever that was i can't so. wait to get out to some more live music but mm -hmm. let's talk about i want to i want to because i almost got the giggles there was something you said no you were talking about all your serious stuff and i'm thinking about oh so i only did this or did that <laughs> but if y'all haven't heard the john hope interview mm -hmm. that was just released bless his heart i mean like it was he, i just i love him yeah. i love how open he was and candid but that was the one podcast outside of when ken foe made when the band was with us, it made me snort. I almost got the church. I call it the church giggles. When John <laughs> Hope brought up that girl that said horse face. Oh, that was so unusual. Like that caught me off guard. And it's like, like, like you said, that's just. I'm going to be honest with everybody. That's how candid he was. I'm going to be honest with everybody. It was all I could do <laughs> about to start getting to hold it together. It's like, oh, it like being here with my daughter. You do not let us look at each other in a serious That's moment so because funny. we know how each other thinks. And it's like that moment when John Hope said that, I was like, <laughs> uh that's so it's even better thinking about like you holding your keeping your shit together until we got off and as soon as i hit end on the call then you just like explode oh that's so funny okay Good Lord. And, and then we Tell have them what we got coming oh my gosh the I think great yeah. well brad russell the great but the great divide oh man y'all yeah. y'all don't even i mean like they are just genuine I think it's one they, of the best we've done if not the best they're so funny and they inspiring just it all on the inspiring table. they're yeah. so inspiring it's like, like they, I, go ahead i was so inspired after yeah. and during the interview yeah. just like being so positive and that's what we should do and pushing forward pushing forward and being positive and you know, and don't look back and don't pick up the baggage. And oh my gosh, y'all. It's just like nothing was left unanswered. They, it was like so satisfying. Like they just, they answered questions I didn't even think to ask or what, obviously I'm not asking, but you know what I mean? Like there was nothing that crossed my mind. I was just completely satisfied at the end of the interview. That's like, you know, hard to come by. You did a great job, first of all, but also they just, they, I don't know just the mixture of the three dudes and it was it was awesome like yes. i'm so excited for everybody to hear this thing and then we're excited for everybody to get to know brad russell he'll be coming Absolutely. up and then we have many more after that which yeah. yeah and i know i guess i can say i mean like normally you know it's like you don't want it until it's done but man mark mckinney better get ready because <laughs> i'm on yeah. it yeah i told him we, we'd bring the heat whenever uh, did you tell him he, he, yeah. you're, you're oh, gonna he, say, who is this who is this chick i mean oh like, no he knows you he remembers uh, you. he did yeah <laughs> oh my god i he, can't he, wait he was like she's the matagorda lady right <laughs> yeah he knows you oh my gosh i can't wait i can't wait i got so many stories behind his <laughs> songs like i know it's his songs mm -hmm. but it's like i'm gonna have to back off and not be like well, let me tell you about one time when I was listening to that song. And let me tell you about one time. I'll shut up. Anyway. Oh, it's it's going to be great. So we've got we've got a, a stacked cast coming up. Uh, I do want to remind everybody, uh, since Helen and I are both traveling next week, we will not have a Texas on tap. Um, but we will the following week. So that's good. <laughs> uh, there will be an episode on Tuesday and the following Tuesday. So that the normal, you know, Texas toast episodes are not going to not going to change at all but um unless i sneak into kyle's toys and figure it out when i'm in nashville not in texas on tap i mean hey all you gotta no. do is open up your i am joking i am joking <laughs> you should do it with somebody else die. <laughs> oh my god that would be awesome open it up and just get like uh joe kelly or somebody on there and just jump on the zoom or even just put your camera in front of your face See, when, sit in when, the room. when when kyle's away miss helen might play Ooh. oh oh hey. <laughs> Hey, check it out. 
you know how to push upload on youtube i know i got this i got make it happen anyway oh (laughs) man you're the best kyle it's so good it's so good seeing you it is good to see you i'm glad you get to have a chill little weekend yes it'll be nice but also if you change your mind and want to come to the show let me know (laughs) i'll I'll work on that all right cool sounds good priorities i'll see you there priorities all right (laughs) wait cheers go Go astros Astros. Tongue, she knew where I was from as she left. I dare to say, well, you can go to hell. Hell, I'll go to Texas. I've had my fill of every place but home.